Hey everybody, I uh, thought I'd make a real quick video here on uh, some tips for building roll cages for your model cars. And I've had a couple of people ask me how to do this since I built my roll cage for my last one. And I'm sure there are plenty of different ways to do this. Uh, this is only the first time I've ever built a roll cage, so I don't have a lot of experience. But um, I figured I'd show you guys what worked for me. So I will start with some of the tools you're going to need. Um, I used a pair of needle nose pliers. I used one of these um, lighters, these clicker lighters. Uh, something to basically that will mark on the uh, styrene rods. Uh, pencil will work and some styrene rod. Uh, the kind I used is this evergreen styrene and uh, I like it. It's very pliable. It's not real stiff and um, it's just it's really easy to bend. Um, the kind I have is the 1 8 rod but I would recommend probably using something a little bit smaller and um, it's fairly cheap. I picked these up uh, for $2.99 at my hobby shop and you get like five of the rods in a package and uh, so it's a pretty good deal but um, let me kinda show you guys what I've got uh, if you've seen in my last update video uh, working on the 65 Chevelle um, this is the roll cage setup that I built for it and uh, so let me kind of show you my process I went through to, to get here um, one thing you're going to want to make sure you do is you're going to want to make sure you measure uh, everything kind of before you get started um, you probably want to take your interior tub and uh, let me take all this stuff out of here I want to take your interior tub and put it inside your car and then measure um, basically how wide you have inside your interior tub and then how high you can go before you touch the roof of the car and if you're wanting to go a full roll cage that would come all the way across the top you know measure from the back to the front kind of what I did is I just took my uh, styrene and I sat it inside the car like this and I just marked on here um, if you guys can see this I just set it right inside of the interior tub and then I just kinda marked where I needed my bin to be um, and then I took it out and just basically bent on my marks and I just kept every time I'd make a bend I'd stick it back in there and measure and then make another bend so I started with the one side and after I got that bend, then I stuck it back in and measured across the top so I could come down on the other side. And of course I did all of this with my interior tub inside of the car. And you can kind of see on mine here, I don't know if you can see it, but I have like a mark right here because with the cage I did, it kind of comes up, slants in, and then goes across the top. So I made a, a measurement uh, I used the side of the car and measured up to right where the uh, top of the window sill is and that's where I made my bend right here and then I measured up to the roof and then measured across and followed the same guide on the other side. Um, so really it's just a whole lot of measuring and I definitely recommend you look at reference pictures online just get on Google and look at a whole bunch of roll cage pictures and find the one that you're wanting to do and uh, kind of mimic that. That's basically what I did. I found a roll cage that I liked and I mimicked it. But um, this evergreen styrene is really easy to bend and let me just kind of show you guys here real quick. Uh, basically what I would do is I would start out by sticking this inside of the body here and actually I'm gonna put the interior tub inside real quick so let me do that give me just a second a 
Okay, now that the interior tub is inside of there, uh, basically just stick your uh, rod inside right here, and then I'm going to get a measurement, and I'm going to mark oh, about, let's say about right here is where I want my bin to be. So you can see I marked my styrene um, right there. And then I would take my needle nose pliers and right where that mark is, you can see I'm going to kind of hold it on the back side of the needle nose pliers. And then if you just slowly, just slowly bend, you'll have to work at it a little bit. If you bend too fast, it will snap. But if you just slowly bend, it'll start to bend on you, and uh, it'll start. You'll start to get a real nice bend, and you can see it starting to bend there. Uh, if you want to, you know, speed things up a little bit, just take your uh, lighter and just, you know, a little bit of flame on there. It doesn't take very much, just enough to warm up that corner, and it will bend a lot easier it just you know depends on if you want to mess with the flame or not you may have to hit it with the, the lighter just a couple of times but you can see there it's starting to uh, bend and uh, once you get this bend get a nice you know 90 degree angle or whatever angle that you're looking for there we go we've got a pretty decent 90 degree angle there then the next thing I would do would be I would take my model again and then I'm going to insert it from this side and set it in there and then you would get a measurement basically across the width of the car and see where you would need to come down on the opposite side make your measurement and mark yourself and then you would come over here on this side and you basically, once you got this bin, you just come over here and make the other bend and then cut it off and just go back through and do that with all of your different bins and just measure everything out and you could probably come up with a pretty successful roll cage. Um, with mine, I did most of these bins and everything without using any heat. The only bins I used heat on were these side pieces right here and I used heat on this bend, this bend, and the little tiny bend down here. And the reason I did that is because they're tighter bends, and um, I wanted to make sure I got them good and clean. But, um, you know, it's really simple to do. You want to make sure that you measure your seats inside of the interior bin, and make sure, uh, you know, they're going to sit right in there where you want them to, because you don't want to build your roll cage, and then your seats don't fit. So just make sure, uh, like I said, that you just test fit everything while you're doing it. Just constantly keep test fitting, and you should come out okay. So anyway, if you guys have any more questions, or if you guys need anything explained a little better, uh, just hit me up with a message, and I'll try to explain things a little better. But that's kind of what I did to come up with my roll cage, and hopefully that helps you guys out some if you guys are trying to build one. And uh, like I said, I'm sure there's a million different ways to build these things, but this is what worked for me, and hopefully it will work for you guys. All right, keep on building, and uh, take it easy.